Okay, you entrepreneur, I know you're always looking for a way to get a competitive advantage. And in this episode, I'm going to give you something you're going to really love. It's going to give you the ability to use an LLM, one of those large language models that goes beyond some of the other competition. I love and use ChatGPT. I love my perplexity working with that, even Claude working with that. And there's some others that are really good available. But I'm going to show you one now that not everybody's using, and it's got some extra advantages that you want to be aware of. It's called Grok, G-R-O-K, and we're going to be using version two of that, so you'll see what it's like, what it's got under the hood, and how you can use it to really get ahead. It's a capability to work with people and be able to help them in many different ways. And I like that. I'm Terry Brock, and I'm with Stark Raving Entrepreneurs, and I want to show you how you can build your business using tools with AI and others. That's what we do here, my partner and I, Gina Carr, and we talk about that. But today, I want to show you this tool called Grok. And here it is. Got it right there on the screen right now. So let me zoom in on this so you can see it a little bit better. Those of you that are catching this on video, you'll be able to see how I zoom in. If you're catching this on audio only, you'll be able to get a lot of benefit from this as well. And I encourage you to bounce over and take a Look at the video version of it. But this is Grok, G R O K, and you'll see over on the side here, it is part of X, formerly Twitter. So all of these features over here that we've got again, are available right there, just that Grok is the one in the middle there that I'm using right now. But I want you to take a look at what you can get with Grok. As we scroll down here, it's showing me current news items. So I can zero in on some of the hot news stories that are going on, plus some extra features that are in here. See, I can look at uh, writing a cover letter, recommend a fantasy uh, RPG game, or I could look at solve two of the sum, the two sum problem in Python. I don't work with Python, but I really like those people who do because they make great programs for us. And it gives you a lot of good capability with that. But uh, it's really nice. I want to show you some of the things that you can do with this that I been doing. One of the things where it really sparkles and shines, I think, better than most other tools we've seen on the net in AI is with graphics. Matter of fact, look at these pictures here. You'll see these are pretty vivid and they look nice right here. Speeding, Roadster, etc. It's got some real nice pictures here. If I click on this right here, let me blow that up and bring it on the screen so you can see it. It's making a picture of a Tesla Roadster and there it is and it shows me some others right here. So I've got that and that pretty nice even with the blurred background which they've done and made really really nice and here's a nice little picture of a portrait of an astronaut on mars you can do that and more than looking at that picture itself take a look at what is available when you get this kind of detail and zoom in on this here for a little bit the detail that you're getting from pictures is going to be incredible matter of fact i've created some that i can use as a professional speaker i'm constantly out talking to businesses talking to groups about how they can leverage ai to generate more business to get ahead of the competition and there's some pictures let me share this with you we're always looking for pictures that are just right. Now, it's very important to use pictures that are legal, that you have created. It's illegal to do it, and even if it weren't against the law, it's not moral to take something from someone else. We say in live and here in Stark Raving Entrepreneurs, live and let live. You don't hurt others. You don't take their stuff. You don't initiate force or coercion. Well, that means you want to honor pictures. Well, now with this, with Grok 2 particularly, you can create some dazzling pictures. Like, for instance, Take a look at this. I created this one here with a prompt right there. Let's just see what that is. Create a picture uh, for me of a black African-American middle-aged businesswoman who is speaking to a group of business professionals, et cetera, et cetera. And I put that in there. And even with my stumbling around, it did pretty well. But take a look at the picture itself right here. This looks really good. If I told you this is uh, Letitia James, uh, and she is speaking to a group of people here, I'm just making these names up here at random, you know, you can see, oh, that looks like it really could be her. And notice how it blurred out the background there, created a diverse group of other people. The pictures on this thing are really amazing. Matter of fact, when you take a look at the pictures on here, some of them you can create that you can't get elsewhere. For instance, here's one that they put together on the site, and this is a uh, Tesla Roadster driving through Shinjuku in motion blur. Now, Shinjuku is a great place. I've been there a few times over in Tokyo where they got a lot of great electronics. They test them out. But anyway, that looks like a real car. You can see it looks like somebody made a photograph of that and did it professionally. Really nice. And it goes even beyond that. Here's a picture that I had generated. Now, this is not political. I want you to know that this is not for or against either candidate, but look at the picture I was able to create. 
that you can't get elsewhere. I had it use Rock 2 and create an image for me of Donald Trump and Kamala Harris uh, next to each other, laughing and seated at a lunch counter, you know, facing the camera with their cell phones visible and drinking Coca-Cola. So there it is. I'll zoom in a little on that. Little. You can see and the, the detail, the vivid, you would almost say, if you didn't know this was fake, which it is, if you didn't know it was fake, you'd look at that and think, that might be real. It is. And the whole point of that is not the politics. Again, I'm not talking about politics here. I'm talking about with Grok, you can get pictures that you can't get elsewhere because many times other tools will say, I'm not allowed to do that. I cannot give you that. When you go into Dolly 3, I've had that happen many times and I love Dolly 3. It's a fabulous tool with a lot of great capabilities built into it. Mid Journey, another real good one. I don't use Mid Journey myself, but others that have used it really looks good. And there's a lot with Ideogram and several others that are really good, stable diffusion and a lot of other tools that are very good for graphics. But with Grok, you can create the pictures that you know, might not be safe for work and might not be uh, acceptable in some particular cases. I'm going to leave that to your discretion as an intelligent adult human being. So make sure that you're not doing something that you really shouldn't do. But at the same time, if you want to use something that, uh, say you have a picture of a president that they say you can't do it, well, now you can do a little bit more. It's an edgy thing right now. I am not a lawyer and I'm not giving any legal advice whatsoever. The only advice that I give, that's not even legal, what I'm giving here is you need to see a legal advisor before you're going to use something like this in a professional situation. Get help from a real credible person. But in those cases where it really is going to be okay between friends and you want a picture that looks like, well, like the one that it could be really Donald Trump and Kamala Harris, this is a tool that can help you a lot. And you might think, okay, that's nice, Terry, but really I'm not going to be doing that much with pictures. What about how it can really work and give me information? Well, let me show you what it can do for marketing, how it can help you do your research on what the market is looking for, the sentiment analysis of what your customers are looking for, how to appeal to them, how to write about it, and what you can do with that. They have three settings that you can use. Let's take a look at those. You'll find the three settings when you go over here and you'll see at the very top, you have the option of zooming in here on Grok2 and you have the beta capability. I'm going to click here on this and when I do, notice it shows me three different settings. I've got a setting for Grok2 Mini. It's a beta, fast and capable model. Grok2 Beta here. This is our most intelligent model. That's the one I'm using. Hey, I can use all the intelligence I can get, okay? It <laughs> help I can get there. And then also they have one called Fun Mode. When it's in fun mode, then it's joking with you more. It's giving you funny and humorous uh, side uh, side notes that are there. Now, some of them are good. Some of them aren't. Some of them you listen to and you go, okay, that's not really that funny. Others you go, hey, that's pretty clever. And it's kind of like you got a really smart, snark, snarky, that's a good word, snarky sophomore in college giving you uh, ideas and his opinion on certain things. So this is kind of fun. But these are the three settings you got. I find I'm using Grok 2 beta usually more than anything when I'm over here working with Grok. And that gives me the capabilities to get a lot more done. Now, where it really sparkles is when you want to get good information and do the research that you're doing with ChatGPT, with Perplexity, with Claude, with other large language models out there, with Copilot, with Gemini from Google. There's a lot of them out there and we can't keep up with all of them. But I really am liking Grok a lot right now. Let me show you a real world experience here. Just come on in here with me and it's, you're going to sit down, take a look at this with me. And again, if you're watching this on video, you'll see what I'm talking about. If you're listening to this, you might want to go over and bounce over to YouTube or some other place where we have the video be able to look at that. I'm going to start with a new chat and to do that, let me move out of the way here. You'll see in the upper right corner here, we have the capability to create a new chat and that's what I'm going to do right there and I'll click on that and when I do, I'm going back here to fresh and clean. You can see I've got some pictures in here, but I'm going to come over here and to ask anything and I'm clicking on that right now and I'm going to put in a grok. I'm going to say, tell me about the election of 1800 and the controversies about that. Okay, I'm just putting something in there at random so you can see what it's like. Now, when I'm what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on the button and I want you to notice how fast this works. Clicking here and there it goes. It's giving me the answer and there it is. That fast. It's giving me what happened, the key events here, 
the deadlocked House of Representatives, Hamilton's influence, controversies, all of that coming up super fast, which is really nice. You know that when we're looking for something, you want to get the information, you want to get it very, very, very quickly. And it gave us really good options here for all of this that we could use if we needed to do that if we needed it real quickly. And the beauty of this is what we can do is when we're using real world information, my experience has been that it's also equally, oh my goodness, fast in most cases. There was one time it kind of held up a little bit and it didn't seem to work. So I went down and asked the question again and it came back rocket fast and gave me the answers. So this is a good tool. It's one that I think you'll want to look into see what is available and be able to look at it. It's got some real distinct advantages. And let me share with you before we conclude here, some of those real advantages that it gave me. I'm over here on the page where I put in a particular gro or prompt. I didn't put in a grok, I put in a prompt where it says, okay, then handle this question. I'm a big fan of both chat GPT and perplexity. This is me putting in the question in there. Uh, you might have heard of them too, so those two somewhere. See, and I put even a fun joke in there with a little smiley face. How can grok, and you see what it did is it took, it didn't spell the word right. To put in G-R-O-O-T. I was using my voice to put this in. How can Grok help me with research and what can you do for that? I can't do with a, uh, that it can't do with a combination of ChatGPT and perplexity. And look what it gave me here. It said, out of this world perspective. Now I was using the fun mode on, on this one. So it gave me some nice things here. Real time X insights, while perplexity excels at providing sourced information and ChatGPT is great for conversational exploration, Grok taps into Live Pulse of X, formerly known as Twitter, for the latest human sentiments, memes, and trends. This can be particularly useful for research involving social media analysis and current events. Do you see what that's saying? You're going to get a competitive advantage when you use Grok because sometimes Perplexity, chat GPT will not be up to date. Perplexity usually is, but there are some things it can't go into and it can't look into. You're going to be able to get a lot more with Grok because it said, okay, we're not going to be so censored. We're going to allow you to do it. And that means also going back to pictures. Some of the pictures, as I mentioned before, are not going to be safe for work. You do not want to use those pictures in certain circumstances. Come on, be real. In business situations, you need to be careful in what you do. And if you're in a parental responsibility mode and you have children, you need to decide how to handle that. And let them know what to do for this. But this has some incredible possibilities here. When we look at what it can do, how it can do it, the kind of capabilities are nothing short of uh, amazing. Look here, it says what it offers that the others might not. Humor and wit. Well, hey, that's kind of nice. And let me get my picture out of the way here. Humor and wit. While others might give you straight and sometimes dry answers, Grok adds a wit and humor. Adds wit and humor. It's like having Douglas Adams co-author your research paper. This can make long research sessions less tedious and more enjoyable. Let's think about that for a moment. That's nice. You don't always want that in every situation, but occasionally it would be nice to bring in fun. Bring in the funny, bring in some humor where appropriate and where it is in line with what your mission is that you're presenting. It gives you some real nice capability. Well, let's go back and take a peek at some other things that it can do here. For instance, it gives you no fear of spicy questions. This is important. Sometimes you need to get that information and you can't, but you can get it with grok. Conciseness with character. You've noted you dislike rants. And that's what I have said. It remembered that I put that in there. Grok shares this sentiment, aiming for conciseness, but with enough sharp character to keep things interesting. Plus, it doesn't need to cite, re cite sources from its humor. That's all original programming. So all of that is in there. It's kind of nice in there. It also has unpredictability. You see in the unpredictability part, what it's giving you is going to be the capability of being able to get a lot of information that uh, you wouldn't get otherwise. So bottom line is when you're using Grok, you're going to get a great deal of information that you're not going to get elsewhere that your competitors won't get if for whatever reason they say, I'm not going to use Grok. That's okay. Gives you an advantage. The pictures that it creates are dazzling. Try it. it now here's a disadvantage. You do have to have a paid subscription to X. If you have that paid subscription to X, starts at $8 a month. 
They have another one for 16. I'm paying the $8 a month, have been for several months, and I like the flexibility that I get. I like the capabilities that it gives me. You'll need to look into that. So if they don't have a free version of this, it's $8. Okay, then you'll be do, doing that. And some people say, I'm not going to pay money to that for whatever reason they might choose that. I hope that my competitors are saying they don't want to use it because I will be able to get some advantages this way. So there's a lot of good for you. Look into it. And by the way, let us know, what do you think about this? What do you think about the ways to use this in many different capabilities? You can see all the information that's here. This gives you a great deal of capability in many other areas. You want to take a look at it, see what's out there, and take a look at how you can get that competitive advantage. It will give you the ability to do a lot. And then you can bounce over to Stark Raving Entrepreneurs. I was showing you this a moment before, where you can find out about how we help you, empower you using tools like Grok and ChatGPT and Perplexity and many others, all to not just be geeks, which I am, but they really give you a competitive advantage. When I went to business school, they told us that was a good idea to have items and resources that your competitors didn't have. And we're going to give you some extras on that as well. Matter of fact, we've put together a special report, <clears throat> excuse me, just for you, AI Tools, the number 4biz.com. AITools4biz.com, where we cover a number of different tools showing you how to use these from a business point of view, how you can use this for bottom line, looking at ChatGPT, yes, Canva, talking about that, Dolly 3 from OpenAI. These are the same people that give us ChatGPT. Udly, we talk about for us, trained speech coach, AI speech coach, marvelous tool. Lexica Art, available there to get some good programs and creation. I mentioned OpenAI is the company that owns it, Stable Diffusion. All of this is available for you. Got a QR code there, and we got a QR code here. If you're watching this on video, you might want to grab that and you can get that. No charge whatsoever for you to get that. Just gives you the information that you can use. And we'd love to hear from you. Please leave a note in the comments. If you've got some questions about that, how we can help you out. If you've got a presentation coming up where you need someone to help you out, I do that regularly. Been a speaker, member of the Hall of Fame for quite a while, and been professionally speaking for 41, over 41 years now, and can help you and your people to understand how to use these kind of tools tailored custom made to what you're doing. I'm a journalist by training. Undergrad degree was radio, TV, and newspaper. And so I like to really highlight customizing programs for you. And we've got some other goodies for you here as well. Some programs that you can get and some features, videos, that are going to help you to get ahead using these kind of tools that are available. I'm Terry Brock. Hey, I really appreciate you joining me today.